So I wanted to get your breakdown, having your quarterback experience. I wanted to get your thoughts as you, you know, both as a receiver working with your quarterback group and, and also just your experience as you've watched these guys battle through camp and, and compete uh, over the last, you know, over the last month. What have, what have you seen from the, the quarterback group? Um, there's just experience, experience across the board. Um, it's exciting to see them all come out each and every day and, uh, and compete for the starting job. Uh, there's still a ton of work that each quarterback and us as receivers got to do before we're ready against Navy. But, um, I feel like we're on track. We still got some work to do though. How big is it to have, it sounds like four guys that you feel like can play because you guys know injuries happen, you've dealt with it. And so yeah. having that uh, that depth at that position, how big is that for the, the offense? I think it's big for any offense across the country to have someone that's played before just come in and try to fill, them, fill in the role as best as they can. And they've played before, so it's not something new to where they'll be shocked by the lights or uh, by the opponent, whatever it is. They just come in and just like practice. Uh, practice makes perfect. Hey, Jake, and then Norma. Neil, I wanted to ask you, uh, reading a story earlier today, there is some thought that your guys' offense could be a top 10 nationally ranked offense. What is the goal for this offense this season? Um, we got a lot of work to do. After today, after the past couple of practices we had this week, it's, a, it's looking like the, the bottom 10. Um, so we're going to take each day as its own. Um, and continue to work towards being that top 10 offense that we want to be. That would be cool to have that. Uh, there's some uh, things that we got to do better, such as the red zone, to be able to be in that top 10 offense. So um, we're going to continue to focus on this next week and a half, and hopefully on Navy we can put on the show. You've been out for the better part of a year, not having not played in a game. How excited are you to have this game under two weeks away? Uh, very. Uh, sometimes I just stay up, watch highlights after I watch film, just watch highlights upon highlights just to be in that moment, regardless of fans or not. Uh, when you're away from the game, you're just excited to get back, knowing that this is someone else. It's not You're not on the scout team. You're not at practice. It's someone else that you actually get to play for and um, represent. So it's exciting. Okay, Norma, and then Sean. Hey, Neil, so what has been your experience uh, around campus now that school's starting back up? Just what observations have you made? How are people social distancing? Are people wearing masks? That sort of thing. Uh, everyone's wearing their masks as best as they can. Um, school doesn't start till next week, so we'll see how it goes. We usually just come in here at the practice facility, and then we go home. We're not trying to be here any longer. Whenever we can leave, we want to leave because we're here from 7 in the morning to 7 at night pretty much. So... I don't know. I guess we'll see next week how it all goes down. Has there been a difference just seeing everyone moving in and everyone getting ready for the semester? Uh, yeah. Uh, I feel like there's there's a lot of reasons for whatever people have um, of social distancing, mask on. Uh, so I guess next week we'll see how it goes. Hey, go Sean and then Greg. And Neil, I wanted to follow up something you mentioned when talking about the quarterbacks, just how much experience there is in that group. A little bit of a contrast with you guys in the wide receiver room where like yeah. it or not, you're kind of the old man in the group and you're one of those veteran leaders um, out there. What do you see from the young guys that kind of gives you maybe a little bit of optimism or a reason to say, Hey, this is really exciting. Even if these guys aren't, aren't super proven right now. Yeah. I think this is the most talent that uh, we've had in the position room. And we're all excited to showcase that come Navy, and hopefully we'll be able to throw the rock um, so we can able or so we're able to show that. Um, but it's for sure exciting to see that each and every one can go out there and play. So, hey Neil, uh, you've been in the end zone a few times. You've gotten reps, but where do you think you're a, maybe a better, a different receiver or a weapon than you were the last time you saw the field uh, in an active game? Um, I think I'm in better shape, uh, cut some of the weight and understood, uh, that nutrition plays a big role in athletics. So I've been able to tune out a lot of just, uh, sweets and stuff. Uh, I've been able just to, uh, I feel like I, I haven't felt this healthy and in this good of a shape since, uh, since high school, probably. Thank you. Okay. Jared, last question. Neil, I just wanted to ask about Butch. You and I have, of course, talked about your relationship with your brother, but what's it been yeah. like for him 
watching you go through all of these things with the pandemic and everything, having been a player and, and experienced it, but now being kind of that outside and, and talking to him about what you guys are dealing with this year. Uh, he's just optimistic for me. Um, he's always been the optimistic guy for me, even when he was here, especially now that um, he's on the next phase in life. He's just hopeful that all um, he's seen everything that I've put through since last year uh, with coming up to Navy in a week and a half. Uh, he knows the amount of work that I've put in each and every day. So he's optimistic and just hopeful that um, everything will go through so I can showcase a lot of that on, against Navy. What does he tell you when things are tough or, you know, you're having a rough time because those things happen. What does, what does, what, uh, how does he help you through those times? Uh, usually it's a smile or he just tells me to keep going. Uh, there's not much that you can say. I'm not really like a, a raw, raw type of dude. And he knows how to, those little phrases or whatever, he knows that'll get me going or have me thinking about some stuff to where I need to turn it on myself. So he definitely knows the different ways that he can push and he definitely pushes that.